tourists still flock to this symbol of parliament, but center block will be under renovation for another seven or eight years. So now, there's a new way to see it. At times, the multimedia show can feel just like standing in center block, but with added flash. So far, the reactions have been really, really positive and exciting for people when they walk in, like, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. The goal, to help Canadians understand the importance of Parliament. It's an opportunity for Canadians to connect with Parliament, parliamentarians, why it's important in our lives, and to understand that there are things that happen in those buildings that affect us on a day-to-day -day basis that we may not even be mindful about. It's certainly a unique way to look at the epicentre of Canadian politics. I want to take a look at the House of Commons here. Oh, sure. I love this. It is so cool because I remember sitting right up there. That's where the oh, press gallery wow. used to be. The show also looks at other spaces currently closed to the public, like Parliament's ornate library and the Memorial Chamber, which honours Canada's war dead. It also features Centre Block's political history, from wartime debates to the Chinese head tax to the apology for residential schools. It's important that we continue to discuss those things and bring them to the forefront to allow us to, to continue to, to speak about them uh, and ensure that our history is, is represented in the way that it, it, it occurred over the years. The current home of the House of Commons can't accommodate as many tours, meaning this is the way many visitors will now experience Parliament. Many tours are already fully booked. I thought it was amazing. What was your favourite part? It was so immersive, it was so captivating, it grabbed you emotionally, which I didn't expect. I like that it was really interactive um, and kind of artistic. It cost $2.8 million to create and build the components of the experience. Visitors see it for free. Shows are expected to continue for years to come. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.